Hello everybody, so this is a BMW 520D F10 2010 and there's a known issue that a few people have reported and it has to do with a pool of water. When I say pool, I mean a pool of water just gathering there behind the passenger seat and it happens maybe just after you, you know, um, it's rained for a while and, and, what, and whatnot. So. I've done a lot of investigation and I've found that it happens for one of two reasons. One, it could be that the seals around here are broken and might need changing and it's letting water in. But more commonly, what we found is that there is a cover here. It's a yellow gasket which sits in front of the, pass of the, the, the passenger front seat. So basically, just give you a bit of context. When they created these cars, they actually created them, you know, to be used universally, whether it's left-hand or right-hand drive. So for the left-hand drive ones, what they did was they actually used a gasket to cover the steering wheel hole at the back there. And with time, what happens is, you know, water goes in, you know, through there, in the front there, water goes in there. And um, leaves could block or dirt or grime, actually block the drain hole, and the water would find its, um, you know, its least resistant way to escape, and it goes through the gasket, which over time weakens, and it just lets the water out. The reason you don't feel it here in front, the water, is because the water will run all the way to the back, and there's a whole lot of padding under here, which actually absorbs some of that water. You know, so what we'll do is um, we'll, I'll show you where it is and I'll walk you through what I'll do to fix it. So now I've opened the engine cover. So just want to give you a bit of perspective so you know where I'm going. So this is the passenger side. And I come to the front of the car right here. So this is the, the front. So in the UK, that's the driver's side there. And that's the passenger side where we have the issue. So the problem is you know, um, is usually somewhere there at the bottom. So what I'll do is, let's try and strip it down a little bit and get to where the issue is. So the first thing you do is you just take this out. Take the front plastic cover out. Guys, when you're taking these out, wherever you place it, just place it somewhere sensible so you don't have any sort of scratches or dings. You know, it is very, very, you know, soft plastic and, you know, it, it scratches easily. So just put it somewhere nice and safe away so if you look so obviously this is this is the front again can you see just for perspective so right here if you go down to the bottom there there you can see that little area there and there are some bolts so those are the bolts we have to try to access so i'll go grab some tools then we can look at what lies beneath literally Oh. Right, so I figure out what we'll need to access the holes at the bottom there is a, a T30, so T30 Torx, which is um, one of these, so it's a T30 Torx, so to give me better space, what I'll do is I'll probably just remove the air filter housing, so just give me a bit more room to play with. So guys, remember, we're working on this side over here, okay? So I'll just um, take that out and, um, you know, I'll be back. Well, I thought I'll figure out how to show people, you know, just to show people how to take this out. So here, you know, just so there's that over there, so you just move that out. And here, there's a little bit of a clip. There, see? That clip over there. So just push it down, you know, actually use this, push it down, pull it out. go pull it out and regard it with this the hair feels housing just wiggle it I think there's a it's quite difficult when so that comes out so similarly just put that somewhere safe where your your pets or children don't get anywhere near it so now we have a lot more space so guys, so this is just the the noise suppression 
sort of fabric just to protect the engine noise um, so we need to get right into that space so I'll just remove those screws over there and um, we'll get back so if you ever have to change your oil right there is your oil filter housing just a bit of um, um, trivia there which uses a T27 socket so right guys I'll take that out and I'll we'll see what lies beneath I've removed the cover and um, this is what it looks like so you have um, there's a bit of fabric which then covers a bit of plastic piece so what you will find is that this comes out first then you then have to remove some other screws on the side and this is how it sits in there something like that and this screw here that's the one that's a bit hidden which you have to look under the tubes so um if i just show you what it looks like there so i'm just gonna do this and move the light there so you can see so right here you can actually see the yellow grommet and you can see the dirt the grime some leaves so water makes its way there and it then makes it through you can actually see the water stains on the grommet so that has to come out so I'll clean that, make it look nice, and then put the new one in there. So here is the replacement part. Here, the BMW part number is 5171-9151866. I will put it in the description. And I got it from BMW dealership. And it set me back 28 pounds and two pence. So once I'm done, I will show you the video, I'll keep recording. So, that's the old one out. That's the new one, which is going in. Um, pretty identical. Uh, just a, a bit of recommendation. You might be able to see that white bit of, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a drain inlet or outlet there. So it's a bit of white, let me move it a bit closer so you can see it. Um, you might want to consider, let me move it there so you can see it. So see that bit of white drain, you might want to consider cleaning it out. You might use a bit of a, a bamboo skewer or something like that just to poke it and get rid of any crap that's there. So a bit of a belt and braces approach here. So before the new one goes in, I'm just gonna put a bit of sealant around it just to hold it in place and um, you know act as a secondary barrier. Okay, now it's all in. And um, so that's the new one. It's in. You can probably see it from here. And there you go. And I've just put a bit of sealant around it for good measure. So yeah so all that's left to do now is just to put it back remember this goes first that way this goes first and that and uh that's it thanks for watching bye now the seal of the sealants around the yellow grommet should have dried off so now let's test it just to make sure that the water is going through the drain which we um uncleared which is the white drain so i'm just going to pour some water um, down here so this could be rainwater you know just assume this is rainwater or you know water from washing the car I'll just pour it a whole lot of it just keep pouring and I've done this about two or three times anyway so um, just keep pouring there and the water should come out here which is what we want um, so I'm happy um, that it's fixed um, previously the water would have just run all the way to the back and would have collected here in the back. Well, you know, it's dry, it's very dry. All right.